Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a ridiculous claim of melting your fat in 36 hours. I saw so many um, articles, videos about like the amazing, amazing way to lose fat. You do the fasting and then your body slender and fit. So I done the experiment of uh, 36 hours fasting on myself and uh, keep watching if you want to know a true, true result without any BS. So first of all, why did I do this uh, challenge? Of course, not to prove the internet wrong. I did for completely different reason. I was actually switching a diet. I'm planning to do a two weeks carnivore challenge. I agreed with my friend. It was a very spontaneous decision. I usually do not approve for any type of like uh, restrictions and diet, but then I thought maybe it could be a very, very cool challenge. So I decided like, okay, let's do it. And to do any dietary change, uh, there is no better way than 36 hours fast because it helps you to fully reset your body, clean whatever food left. It's kind of, I see it as a reset button. However, I never saw it as the a great fat burning uh, type of approach. I don't think it's sustainable. I personally cannot do it like every single week. I know there's been like great research about if you do uh, this uh, fasting every other day, you're gonna really burn fat. So it's a great approach for losing the fat, but I don't see it as a sustainable or realistic approach. I, as I said, I personally cannot do it. But what I can do, maybe like um, to do such fasting every now and then, maybe once every six months or once a year. Please keep watching if you want to really see the result, uh, like how much fat I burn after this challenge. But before that, I would like to share um, how you do the 36 hours fasting. It's actually very, very easy. It's mostly, it's not a physical pain, it's mental pain because we all got used to have like a breakfast at a certain time, lunch, lunch at a certain time, dinner and so on and so forth. I personally don't have a problem to do not eat my breakfast in the morning, but I know some people that are actually like waking up and running to eat their complex or whatever they like to eat. To me, it makes no sense whatsoever, but uh, yeah, whatever works for you, works for you. The point is uh, the main challenge of this 36 hours fasting, it's just like a mental game. So I got some tips for you if you decide to do the challenge. Uh, my first tip is no prepping. I know so many people they say like, oh, you have to prep for 36 hours challenge. Oh my God, don't prep. Because the more you're gonna think about it, the more your mind gonna tell you that it's absolutely terrible idea. It's not the right day to do it. Uh, you don't feel probably well. So you could even like, um, like without even having any problems with your body, you could attract, you know, with all the thinking, all the kind of like feeling not well maybe today type of thoughts. Uh, yeah, no prepping, don't overthink it, just go for it. And if you have like such days as, uh, you know, when uh, you're very busy, you have lots of meetings, just like go straight to 36 hours of fasting like just don't eat like when you come back home if you didn't have time to eat during the day don't worry so much like nothing gonna happen to you if you don't eat just drink water drink liquids i think this is the most important the other thing um, what helps me like with this like mental game uh, instead of having breakfast i can have um, usually i like to have water with lemon in the morning and I keep doing that so I don't like um, amid this during my fast I don't break my fast this way uh, I know it's like a bit controversial some people are really will break some people will say you don't I personally don't feel my body starving after I have water with lemon and then other option for breakfast I can have a coffee 
just plain black the same as tea just like no milk no sugar no uh, fake sugars or fake sweeteners like nothing just plain black tea or coffee you can add actually lemon uh, if you like uh, some lemon in your tea as an option so it really helps me to go through the day and if i have some meetings i easily like order a like plain black americano and I'm, uh, I don't seem as not normal person who is fasting because in the society it's like a difficult thing you know to talk about especially when you sit next to other people so you don't need to like tell all the story why you do it like about that you're doing it just order americano or black tea or herbal tea without sugar and nobody gonna notice a thing that you're even on a fast. And the other thing I love to do for lunch or dinner, if I feel like I'm starving, like mentally, my kind of body clock uh, aiming for dinner or lunch, I do a fake soup. So <laughs> this is the most like funny, ridiculous thing that I found what you can do during fast without breaking your fast. So basically you're cooking a chicken or meat broth. You put just like a piece of like some fatty chicken, meat, whatever you like, just throw like a little piece uh, in the pot. Then I add a bit of onion, garlic, pepper, salt, but I'm not blending it. I'm not planning to eat any particles of it. I'm just trying to make kind of a flavored water if it makes sense. And this is kind of like a fake hot soup, which is a little bit nourishing, it's satisfying, and it's better than having like no hot meal, especially when you get used to eat like hot meals during the day. I personally love to have dinners, like something hot during my dinner, that's why I make this fake soup, and it makes me feel great and uh, yeah, kind of sustain, uh, go till the end uh, for like 36 hours of fast. So what's the result? So I did this fast just yesterday. I completed this morning. So I just broke my fast a couple of hours ago. Before the weekend, uh, my weight was 58.5. Then I <laughs> ate lots of crazy stuff during the weekend. Uh, cookies, burgers, you name it. Whatever I wanted to eat. I didn't know that I'm going uh, to fast uh, on Monday. Uh, it was just like kind of my regular weekend, uh, yeah, without like any preps. I actually decided that I will be fasting actually on Monday morning because I wasn't sure like how I will feel and I decided like just let's carry on and do cleanse day. So on Monday morning my weight was after this crazy weekend burgers, cookies, like and uh, all the chocolates of the world, my weight was 58.6. Yes, I gained like 100 grams. And this morning, so exactly after 36 hours, guess what my weight was. I was absolutely shocked. I did not expect that. I did so many fasts and that was the most <laughs> disappointing result. I mean, I know like I did the plans, I did it for absolutely different reasons, this 36 hours of fast, but my body weight was at 58.5, so I didn't lose a thing. And um, logically, you know, like when people say like, oh, you're gonna melt your fat in 36 hours, really, if you have a little bit of uh, brain, you went to the school, you learned math, you can calculate how much of real fat you're gonna lose. So let's calculate together just like to make it like, uh, you know, the numbers usually kind of helps us to represent the real situation. So in one kilo of fat is around 7000 calories. So for you to burn one kilo of fat, you need to burn 7,000 of extra calories during the day. During um, my regular um, day, I burn, like my body burns 1,700 calories without like any uh, sport or any additional activities. This is like my sustainable body weight, something at around like 1,700 calories, maybe a bit less sometimes, maybe a bit more, depends on the metabolism. So in order for me uh, to actually, actually sustain my body, I just need like, for example, like I didn't put any food yesterday in my body, zero calories. So basically 
my body needed to melt only 250 grams of fat to sustain itself, to sustain its activity, health, well-being. So basically, even though the scale didn't show any changes, um, the fat for sure, like the pure fat, went down probably like because I had lots of water yesterday. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, you can have water with salt and it help if you have a headache, it would help with your headache and the soup uh, which has this fake soup which has salt it also helps you know to get like electrolytes and uh, sustain your like well-being clear head um, yeah that's like a really helpful tip that i forgot to mention this is how my experiment went and this is how much of uh, fat i really burn when you fast you also become a bit younger you remove all the dead cells from your body that's why i actually love to do it like the body starts uh, rejuvenation processes uh, cleans all the bad things out of your body for that reason fasting is absolutely great Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you on the next one. I have to really now run home oh, and my work timer is, <laughs> yeah, is on so the rain is already starting and any minute it could be like pouring so yeah let's run home.